All right, and joining me now live from Las Vegas is author and former Libertarian vice presidential nominee Wayne Allen Root. Good to have you back on the show. Hey, Karen, how are you? I'm good, thank you. So, lots going on in Washington. President Obama says he's got no patience for targeting uh, conservative groups, Tea Partiers. Are you buying any of this? No, I'm not buying it. I'm buying his impeachment. He's the guy that ordered it. Come on. Nixon was impeached for the exact same thing. A lot of people don't realize, and you may not realize in Canada, because so many Americans don't, the articles of impeachment of Richard Milhouse Nixon, the primary cause besides Watergate, was using the Internal Revenue Service to go after his enemies, violate their constitutional rights. So in terms of the IRS, you know, we're hearing some sort of apology anyway from the IRS. What more would you like to hear? I mean, obviously, this shouldn't have happened in the first place, but what would you like to see happen now? Well, it's so much worse than you know in Canada. First of all, I wrote a new book. It's called The Ultimate Obama Survival Guide. And it's been out for a month, so I wrote it three, four, five months ago, and I didn't know any of this yet, and yet the entire book is chock full of examples of why Barack Obama is as bad as a mafia mobster. I compared him to the Gambino crime family. He plays by Chicago thug politics rules, and that means you're either with him or you're his enemy and he will destroy you. And I used hundreds of examples in the book of how he's playing roughshod over the American people, and the IRS was the main one I used because I was attacked by the Eternal Revenue Service in January of 2011. You so, have no idea how deep this goes, Karen. It's yeah. all over America. So, Wayne, if you can, elaborate a little bit about that. I know you describe sure. yourself as the face of these these types of attacks. What do you mean by that? Well, what, what happened? I think, first of all, when people hear that a Tea Party or some sort of charitable group was attacked, a political nonprofit, that's a faceless group. They don't get that excited about that. But when you tell them about a human being, I'm the face of the Obama IRS scandal. That was the title of my article at Fox News. And uh, literally, it was a chilling attack in January of 2011. It did not happen out of the Cincinnati office, as they claimed this is only about Cincinnati. It happened twice out of the Las Vegas office. After a, It's a long story that we can't get into in mm -hmm. details on this show, but let's just say I faced down the IRS and won in court, 100% victory, total vindication, and five days later, guess what happened? new IRS audit. Unheard of, perhaps, in the history of America. My lawyers, <laughs> my accountants, my entire consultant team said never in history have they ever heard of someone being audited five days after winning an audit, and the, and the terms of that second audit were literally breaking the law. The IRS literally broke the law to come after me the second time, and now we're about to win on that one as wow. well. The case has been settled. This is direct from Obama. I'm his college classmate, Karen. I'm one of the most outspoken people in America about him. My new book, Ultimate Obama Survival Guide, tells you everything you need to know. This guy is bad news. And most importantly, did you know in Canada that they targeted not just conservatives, but Jewish pro-Israel groups? This is hmm. literally radical religious persecution. It's un-American. It's unconstitutional. It is criminal. And people must go to jail. Wayne, I always appreciate your enthusiasm. Author and former Libertarian vice presidential nominee Wayne Allen Root. And I might add to that, psychic, since you called all this and you even wrote about it before it actually happened. Thank you once again for joining us. Appreciate your time. Thanks for having me on. The Ultimate Obama Survival Guide. It's an eye-opener. Get a copy of it. Will do. All right.